Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. My R32 still on jack. I am waiting on some part and I think it's arriving soon, hopefully, so I can get this car out of the garage. Um, for the BMW, it's looking good, but the bumper has a little fitment issue and it's literally been driving me crazy for the past couple of days. I already scheduled an appointment to ship out my ECU, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it today. Um, and then we'll come back to fix the fitment issue once I get my ECU back because it takes like 10 days. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to ship it to Europe. That's where we can get it unlocked. I don't know if you guys know, but I used to have a Mark 5 Supra and my Supra was obnoxiously loud, okay? And ever since I have this BMW, it's really fun i love it so much but it's just not as loud as i want it to be and i have a countless downpipe i have a valtronic exhaust and i'm on jb4 but it's still not loud so we're gonna go ahead and remove my ecu today so we can send it out to get it unlocked and once we get it back we will have a proper tune hopefully it's way louder than the way it is today so let's go here's the current stage of the bmw it's looking so good i still gotta put the badge on but the fitment here is honestly driving me crazy okay i also have some rock chips which i'm gonna fix after too so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery first now that we got the battery disconnected we're gonna go ahead and remove the strut bar so then we can access to the ecu it should be really easy i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it my engine bay is kind of dirty please don't mind that i'm gonna go ahead and remove that bar so there's four bolts so then we can access to the ecu right underneath this blocked case right here hey guys so today's vlog is sponsored by better help it's something that I've never really talked about but I went to a very difficult time for quite a while and admitting I needed help was extremely difficult because growing up in a Vietnamese household there is such a strong emphasis on toughness and issues like depressions or sadness are often ignored but I've come to realize the importance of seeking support and that is when I started going to therapy however when it's come to scheduling a therapy session it was even more challenging which shouldn't be the case when reaching out for help. That is where BetterHelp stepped in. With over 30,000 professional therapists in their network based on your needs, preference, and location, whether it's through phone call, video chat, or messaging, BetterHelp accommodates you with your preferred mode of therapy and give you the help when you need it. To get started, you fill out the questionnaire that asks about the challenges that you're facing and the type of therapist you prefer. You will be matched with a therapist in most cases within 48 hours. Therapy has allowed me to reconnect with myself, finding joy in the small moment, and breaking free from the constant cycle of the negativities that once consumed me. If you are going through a tough time, please don't hesitate to reach out. Join the millions of individuals who have taken the first step towards the healthier and happier life with better help. Click the link in the description to begin your journey today. Once again, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and please remember you are not alone. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect all six of these. For the next part, I got myself a masking tape and a pen so I can go ahead and label them because it is important to not mix them up when you put the ECU back in. Then you're gonna go ahead and pretty much like press down on this tab and pull it. It should come right out. Just like that. One is out. All 
right once you got all six of them removed disconnected you we're gonna go ahead and also disconnect six of the plug on the right side of the plug that we just did one two Oh no, that string is broken. Why is this one so hard? One right there. Sorry guys, it's kind of a mess in here, but okay, you can see this tab right here. What you pretty much do is put your hand behind here and then kind of like push it like this and then have another person pull out the ECU. There will be two, one over here and then one more back there. I'm going to go ahead and pack this up safely so I can ship it out to Arizona and then they're going to ship it to Europe for me. Hopefully I can get this back in the next, I don't know, 10 days to two weeks. But yeah, 